my favorite book. Uh, my favorite book um, at this time, I will have to say, uh, was a book that uh, I ran across some years ago called um, Conversations with God. And it was written by this guy named Neil Donald Walsh. And um, I ran into, I guess, like, I guess like 95, and I was on my way to college. And I used to go into Barnes & Noble bookstore all the time. And I seen this big section, um, and it was a conversation with God on it. And at the time, I wasn't really like into, I guess, religious theme books per se at the time. And that's what I looked at it as. And so I said, you know, I'm not going to read that. But something kept telling me, like, you know, I need to maybe stop and just peek through it a little bit. And so one day I, I did open it up and I read and I just couldn't put the book down. It was so much more than what I thought or I was kind of judging it by the, by the title. But um, it was just a book that had so much of expression of things that I thought in my own self and things that I've questioned myself and I've questioned as far as the idea of God and the type of relationship to have with God and, um, and then just the application of those ideas and thoughts in your everyday life. And um, it just hit me strong and it opened me up to so much. And I say the greatest um, thing that I had got from the book is actually what became a title, probably one of my most, um, I guess, known spoken word pieces, which is um, Go Within or Go Without. Um, I was reading it and I came across a page where it said, you know, if you don't go within, you will go without. And then later on in a couple of pages, it said, and once you do go within, you realize how much you can do without. And, I, and it, for some reason, that just, that, just, I, that just stuck with me. I looked at my life and I looked at my mother. I looked at my sisters. I looked at a lot of my family members where a lot of us were struggling with so much in our life because like, we were feeling like the answer was like out in space or out in some, I don't know, experience of money or relationship or, or whatever. And it seemed like all these things that we were seeking appeared to be something outside of ourselves. And it was directing so much pain in our lives. And when I read this and when it said, you look within, you realize how much you could do without. And I realized like how adequate the love that I had for myself was because it got me through so much. And here I'm like, you know, not valuing it as much because I felt like it didn't come from somewhere else. And so when I began to say, you know what, I'm going to take some time to, to really celebrate the things that I've gone through and the successes and even some of the so-called failures that have led me to uh, more awareness about myself and how to relate more with life. And um, so that, that, that book right there, I can, I can read it over and over and over and, and it keeps me inspired.